<laughs> right, this is Planet Mosh, we're at Wildfire and we're with Halo Taurus. Say hello boys. Hello. Oh, you're with us, one. Okay, so, everybody's just arrived except for my Chris who was pushed last night. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Did you enjoy yesterday? Do you remember? Uh, for what I remember, uh, I'm saying I'm around 6 o'clock was the last day I can remember. Um, and you said you saw me walking about like a gorilla. <laughs> I don't really remember much, to be honest. <laughs> Could be totally making it up, but I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing would surprise me. <laughs> so, how did it come up that you guys are playing here today then? It's actually came about, we uh, supported Mark Tremonti at the O2 ABC last year. Um, and I know, I'm not sure, it was Dave Ritchie along? Dave, Dave Ritchie, yeah, was that a gig? And a couple of guys and contacted us and asked us if we'd, if we'd like to play. So, here we are, a year later. <laughs> I my Chris is sobered up, we're here, we're ready. <laughs> it's taken me a year. It's taken me a year. But yeah, that's, that's how it came about and we jumped on it. We've heard a lot of good things about it as well. So. Absolutely. Um, I know Dave's a fan of you guys because I was at the King Tut's gig in January. I was right behind him and he yeah, spent yeah, the whole yeah. gig playing the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. 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 <laughs> it was hysterical. <laughs> couldn't believe I had no camera. It was brilliant. Can we get a goal player this? We get a goal player this. Dave Ritchie plays air guitar yeah. bass. <laughs> put that in your next game poster. <laughs> <laughs> we love you really, Dave. Promise. Well, where's it not be? Dave, Dave, Dave. No, it's not Dave. It's not Dave. It's not Dave. It's not Dave. I think we can't drop Dave. We've okay, invented a new thing. <laughs> so, let's move on. <laughs> So, um, so what are we getting to hear today then? Some old stuff and some new stuff? Yeah, a wee mix. We're going to, we're going to play two new songs um, and then a wee mix of this. So, so the stuff off the album. Um, so looking forward to playing some of the new stuff because, so, well, first of all it's new but um, it's one, one track in particular is probably the heaviest thing we've done in it. Yes. Um, so yeah. we'll try, try and play a bit new guitar tunings and things like that. So it's a wee bit more experimental for us which is what we like to do anyway. So we'll play, play the same with that. Cool. Um, user. Working on second album now as well, isn't it? So, yes, so yeah. well, we've got some ideas about how we're going to going to do it, but um, we're we're looking to start recording this year. Um, so the idea is sometime 2017 we'll be looking to release new music. Um, so I that's that's kind of what the goal is. Um, so we're nearly there. I think we're nearly there with all the stuff we want to do, and then just start recording the second half of this year. Okay. Is to try and get something by January out. Right. Something. So, so it's not going to take as long as the first one? No, no, thank <laughs> God. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> Changed the mob to say what? There was a wee bit. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're, we're planning to get something released, even if it's a single from the album. Um, we'll, we'll have something in the cool. So, what else is in the works then, will you? Europe. We're going to Europe for the first time. Is there going to need visas? I know, I was going to say. <laughs> not yet. No, no, yeah. Thankfully we're going this year, <laughs> not in two years time. Oh, so we yeah, to do it. it's, it's really starting to come together. Um, so we're still in the process of booking it, but at the moment we've got a route down out of the UK into Belgium, Holland, Denmark. France as well. Do France is on the way back oh, round, so we Belgium, Denmark, Holland, and then we've got a uh, once we get to Denmark, we've got a little bit of a. We don't know whether we're going to go into Sweden or if just going to come down into north yeah, of Germany. That's true. And then we've got. I think it is it Poland. Yeah. yeah. And Czech Republic. We've got something ridiculous like nine countries in fourteen days or something like that. It's amazing. Yeah. So then we've got a couple of gigs along the south of Germany on the way back in, then France, then in, we're doing. Is it Bristol? Got yeah, Bristol. And then and then finishing off in Glasgow. So, so you're saving the best to last. Of course, right? yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, aye. We'll Although, be, that, that could be know. contested for anybody who's listening to any of the other countries. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you just going out yourselves then? You're going out with someone? Just ourselves. Just yeah. ourselves. Yeah, I hope to play. Like, one of our kind of things we started talking about it was we were looking to do like maybe a couple of bands from here and do a tour. One of the things I wanted to do was go and see some of the local bands. So, it helps as well. Like, I mean, we like we are gonna go in, like the outside of Germany. Nobody knows who we are, so we might bar a handful of people, you know. So it's like 
if we get local bands in then hopefully they'll bring some people along that's the, that's the basic rule but also for us it's like we've, we've played with a lot of bands from Scotland we know a lot of bands from Scotland it's time for us to play with some new bands and I think that would be really interesting to do play with bands from other places I think that we're, there's talk of there's a band um, from Holland called Mannheim and my understanding is they're going to be playing with us in The Hague yeah, yeah. and I think they're also looking at trying to get on a couple of the other dates with us so um, they're a band that are our, our manager knows them really well, so um, we look forward to catching up with these guys and, yeah. and seeing where that goes as well. So it'll be nice to, to be with kind of bands that are established in Holland already and, and play with them. Looking mm -hmm. forward to playing in Europe as well. We've heard a lot of good things about yeah. the audiences in Europe. They're completely different to the audiences here. Yeah, um, they're a lot more receptive to our sort of style of music as well. Yeah. Um, um, they, they, really appreciate a good night out uh, watching music, whatever it is, apparently. So. Yeah, and the other thing is as well, even from there, we've dipped our, our toe in the water, so to speak, so far with it, and already we can, there's a huge, a marked difference on the hospitality, you know, and that's no disrespect to anybody here, it's just it's fact. Yeah. They're just better. Yeah, I had my first experience of a European gig in January there in Amsterdam, and it is totally different. Uh, yeah. It's totally different. Yeah. But, it's like even if they don't really know the band, they're just up for a good time, so they're there anyway and yeah. they're enjoying themselves and they're the movie and they can't sing along or whatever. But don't market it as hello, we're really pleased to be in the arse end of Germany. <laughs> 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 yeah, probably, probably wouldn't say that. You, talk, giving marketing tips to the one guy in the band who's Real job is marketing. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are happy to be there though. We are happy. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it is there. Just hopefully they're happy to see us. Any real couple. Sure, at the end of it, we'll have had a great time. No matter what. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. It's an experience from the yeah. it? That's it. I mean, it's one of those things you can tick off the bucket list, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's a bit cliche, yeah. but it is certainly a lot of people will get a chance to do it. To be honest, if we didn't have our, our management, we would have Dan, yeah. Dan, our manager. It's just a, Amazing job putting it together for us. So, I mean, when he comes out every day, he's like, right, that's that booked, right, that's that organised, or that interview, and you're like, jeez, what is it? We've done that, like, but we'd, we'd, still be, we'd still be sitting here, big old going to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you noticed a big difference then, since, because it's not long since you signed your management deal, is it? It's yeah. I think yeah. having somebody fight in your corner kind of every All single day, because yeah. um, you go, I think you go through periods. When you play in a band, um, but you, you kind of when things don't go your way, <laughs> it's just for a sustained period. Well, for that's what always happens. Um, like, it's, it's one of those like, I've like, had a lot of bad luck. Um, it's the only time we've been doing it, and it's I think the most driven person in the band for the last six months has been Dan, the, the manager. Um, and that's just speaking honestly. You know, like it has. There was definitely times where I said it was like. I can't be asked for this anymore. Like, it's hard work. It's a struggle. It is. Mm -hmm. And it's a fortune as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're having to pay all your bills and then pay the band bill as well, which mm. constantly goes I up and up and up. The band bill is terrifying. I know. But <laughs> but it's it's prefer not to be paid. Well, well, that's it. it listen, just if just you're doing this for the yeah, money, just, you're doing the wrong thing. Just for free. Right. So we'll just make up the money as we go along. <laughs> Monopoly money, if you just pay us in that, and we we'll can probably transfer it soon anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't spoke, I spoke to Dan like last week about some stuff and like, just speak to him and realise that like somebody outside of these five guys actually cares about this band, like really cares and then that was like get your fucking act together, get going, you know like it's, it's, yeah. it's been, I, think it's they, I do think the, the, the past couple, because that was, look we did have a kind of bad start to the year but the past couple of months now that Europe's starting to shape up and we've got the, the plans for recording and stuff like that, everybody's but we're kind of back on track with you, so yeah, yeah. Um, right, so got um, making demos, getting Europe together, yeah, very fresh right stuff. Yeah, yeah. stuff is. We are terrible, by the way. I mean, we have got so many songs like from the past two or three years that have disappeared. So it's great for working in it. Actually, the Germany. Also, we are terrible. Wait, wait, wait. So we can. <laughs> so one of the things we do is we we um. We kind of come up with ideas and we, we work through them to a point and then we'll, we just set them aside for a while till Two years And some of them <laughs> like, we, we, we start, so when we started looking at um, writing new stuff to for the album We had a bunch of songs that we kind of had almost ready which were shoe-ins that were definitely going to be yeah. And we, 
we kind of we had a wee and we said let's everybody go through your phones all the old stuff you've got that we started working with and we've we'll probably got about three albums there <laughs> 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 no, but really, uh, really, yeah, yeah. three albums there. Chris has um, coined it the riff bag. That's, that's his one contribution. <laughs> <laughs> He's coined the name for it. We the just riff bag. We got the riff bag. I don't get, I don't get, that's a perfect name for it. Everything takes a sound, everything takes a fix. I won't put it in a TV, but I know you never know. It is the riff bag. That's what I call it. Uh, we'll it. The riff up. The corn sack. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how this came up, right? I have to tell this story because so you, we were doing to take over because the rest of we were doing a we were doing a an interview and it was it was being video recorded interview and um we were just as the interview was going on and somebody asked us about how we go about writing songs and Chris <laughs> the drummer decides Look at that! The drummer! The drummer! The drummer! There's two Chrissies, so it's it's nice to explain what Chris yeah, is talking about, about. alright? The drummer! Everybody else can see it, if you looked at the full version, click on this link. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Chris uh, says, oh, Sometimes we uh, just go into the riff bag and see what we've got in the book. <laughs> we were like, What's the no one, no, no one would never use this term before. No one had ever heard it, and and ev- so everybody else in, in the interview just burst out laughing. So like, I've never heard it right now. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. That was that was a piece of genius, man. The court sack. The court sack. Do you think we might just have named the second album? I think so. The court sack. The old toilet. The court sack. Oh, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm totally putting that down as a Planet Mosh exclusive. Oh, definitely. Oh, it's a cold sack. Cold sack. Yeah. It's just bounced up now. Oh. <laughs> there it oh, is. Oh, that'll go nicely. <laughs> It might be the first interview I've ever done where everybody ended up crying and laughed. Uh, uh, <laughs> that happened, that happened. That happened. That happened. He's never had to say anything. And then actually I tried, start, start I tried not, not to say fuck all. Because that happens. That's what happens. Well, I'm just going to totally be worried about it. It's going to be a little bit of a shot. It's going to be a little bit of a shot. Shut the fuck up. Well, then what about you? You're like, hey, you two, if you're sitting there, I'm just going to be Oh this is entertainment. Uh, yes. This is what folk are tuning in here. Uh, so there's a question. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might have been, but I've forgotten them all now. <laughs> what do you get a good blood machine? Oh, I'll need to get one for this. All I can think of is a cord sack. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah, that's a good blood machine. He's sitting there with the proudest punch of it. So the cold sacks look so, big. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's full. It's full. It's full of uh, riffs. <laughs> Which right, come together. Go on, kind of to get try to drive it back to over time. <laughs> um, I think the the writing we've got loads of songs now for for the same same record when it happens. Um, and it's kind of nice to be in a position where we're actually working on songs. And with the with the intention of probably chucking something away as well, you know, we've got a bit of freedom with, which is cool. Um, I think for the the first one, the first album, we basically put everything we had on the CD and gave it to folk. And then like, <laughs> chucked two songs off it. I, <laughs> Never to be seen again. I, I don't know <laughs> so, um, so like this time, of, I think it's a wee bit more calculated, which is good. Um, it's good to have too much stuff though as well, isn't it? Yeah. If you got to album two and you had no, nothing to put on it. See, that you say that, but you could have too much stuff and it could all be rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> and you could have, or you could have one good song and it's that's better than having 12 shit songs. Yeah, It's that kind of. Everybody always says the second album is worse than the first one, isn't it? It's like it's good. Cool. No, I, I think it's really, really so good. This, <laughs> <is, laughs> this is a second chance at a first album. <laughs> I, I think I actually gave you quite a good review of your first yeah, album, yeah, you might think. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so at least one. I think, the second, I think the second album is going to be a really, really nice progression from. like it's just going to de- I think it develops the sound of the first one a lot. I mean, like, we love the first album, but I think number two is shaping up. Yeah, well, I think so. I, I, I noticed a difference, um, and it certainly wasn't intentional, it was just, just have the 
Definitely. This wasn't intentional, you know, but it's just arms. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just that yeah. <laughs> no, was Two 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 it's like Chris, we Chris are playing footsie right now. Yeah. But they're both doing an Adidas samba while you stay playing footsie. One of the things that we're, we're looking forward to with this is we're, we're tracking the album with uh, Stuart McLeod, who we tracked the, the first album with, but we've been looking at different options for, for mixing the album so that we'll get something that's different from the first album and there's been a few names kind of bandied about people that are keen to work with us. Um, one of the producers who who's keen to work with um, is the, the last You Me at Six album um, and he's previously worked with bands like Enter Shikari and stuff like that so that's one of the options we're, yeah. we're looking at. Um, that must give you a bit of a confidence boost as well. Oh, definitely, you? definitely. I think one of the things that's come through the management is the amount of people in the industry that really like us, and that's that was quite weird. I mean, um, is it Jason? He used to be Nate. No, it was um, John Mitchell. I, no, I mean. Oh, Jason. Yeah, I that's yeah. right, Jason. Do you remember the band A? Give me some blood. <laughs> give me some yeah. skin. <laughs> Massive producer now, and like he contacted our management to say that he would be interested as well, or or let him, let him have, let him hear the stuff, yeah. um, kind of kind of thing. So that was quite cool to hear that since he's been there and done it at all levels. Yeah. Um, so that's quite cool. Hormones are not good, are they? I know. I know. Hopefully. Hopefully. Exciting stuff. Hormones. Sorry, that's what I was going to say about the first time you talked about the samples. Like the difference in songs, um, is it like the first record, like, like six to seven minute songs, <laughs> naturally? And naturally now, we're not, they're a lot shorter. Um, some of them anyway. Um, they are still so quite progressive though in terms yeah, of. Yeah, well, I was going to say that, it just it doesn't necessarily say because it's three and a half minutes or yeah. whatever, it's not pop. Three and, uh, and a half minutes, yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's just that we've kind of like condensed the ideas into, you know. Some of them. Yeah, some, <laughs> some of the new ones as well. Well, we're playing the about three and a half hours long. <laughs> but they're still average and definitely a lot shorter. I mean, in like the long one, like the long ones for like you know, only one like under the surface is what six minutes, fifty six seconds, yeah. something ridiculous. Whereas it could could have been technically condensed quite, I think, quite a bit. I think it's yeah. fair to say that the the average song length has gone from somewhere around six or seven minutes to it's somewhere four around five. four or five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's that definitely. learning curve as well though, isn't it? You, you do the first one and you yeah. go, right, well, how can we make it better? And definitely, I think um, we'll have to be really kind of uh, disciplined this time. Like, there's, there's some of the riffs that are really, really fun to play, and you can play them all day. Yeah. But just go and right, we're going to cut it there, right. and just then add a song that works better. Maybe as musicians, it'd be more fun to play them for, <laughs> for hours, but like, it sounds better as a like, song. In 10 years, when you're playing arenas, you can go out and you can do a slash. Style 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think when, I, when, when I've been writing, I think one of the, the, the conscious things is you think about those songs where there's a riff in it that's brilliant, and but it, the, the, not a lot of that happens, and then you get to the end of the song, you're like, I'm not sure that riff came back in. I'll just, just put the song on, on again. Uh, yeah. And I think that's kind of the idea of yeah. it. Yeah, but one one repetition, you know, folk listen to the album over and over and over and over, Oops, over again. Yeah. I think we've, I think we'll nail it. I think you nailed it with the first one. I've had it on rotation for a long time. Really? Cheers. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You can see your nose growing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my nose. It's my cock sack. <laughs> actually seems like a really good point to stop on. <laughs> yes! Yeah. So, uh, good luck with the set and the album and the tour and keep in touch and let us know how you do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.